get a question wrong, you have to eat the Hogwarts grounds. Oh, I got no. fresh Hogwarts dirt for you. Oh. Fresh, oh, just man. a big bowl of Hogwarts dirt. Hey, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the world's hardest Hogwarts grounds quiz. Wait, are we? Well, I think so. I had no idea what we were talking about today. No. <laughs> so I, I have not given this any um, like in my odds, people. whatsoever. Thank goodness there are no danger beans present. Oh, I, I know, I yeah. I feel a lot better That's knowing that. That's for the that. next J first bet. Right, so worst worst case today is I lose, which is what we largely expect anyway, so. It's great. It's all good. Let's go. Roll the intro. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Ethan is on the other end of the camera. He's waving at us, we can see him, but you can't. He's going to be reading us today's 10 standard quiz questions plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we both agree that we have no idea, Ethan can give us the multiple choice. And if you'd like to play along with us, there is a link in the description down below. Are you ready to talk about the Hogwarts grounds? Did you do some studying since the intro? Uh, you know, I have thought about it a whole lot. I yeah. feel like I, I was surprised at how much I was able to manufacture mm -hmm. clean out of my brain. Okay, cool. Yeah, really I, well. bet, I bet one of them is, what year was the Whomping Willow planted? Oh. And we're gonna say, do you need a specific year or event? Ah, uh, right. That's yeah. my guess. That's okay. my guess. Okay. Bloody. Question number one. It literally has written here, first and easy one. Oh. Oh gosh. What was the name of the village near Hogwarts? Okay. Okay, okay. I knew this one. It's not too bad at all. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Uh, <laughs> it is indeed Hogsmeade. A big ol' Hogsmeade. <laughs> that is comically I like that your O just became a, a circle. It's just a circle, sort of like, like a big dot. I feel like I would wear a white sweater that just has in giant J. Carlin writing Hogsmeade on it. Yeah, she would just put that on a shirt. Like somehow I look at it and I was like, that's kind of like a cool design yeah. almost. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. You yeah. can buy it in the description down below. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? Go to our T Public store. Yeah, go to our T Public. <laughs> Question number two What do muggles see when they stumble on Hogwarts? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Moldering old ruins. I said moldering ruins and signs that say danger ahead. Uh, yeah, that is correct. Ben is technically more correct, but they are both correct. Okay, moldering is a word that I'm pretty sure, it doesn't feel like it should be allowed to be a word. It sounds like you're messing up other words. Like it should be like, Molding old ruins or something. Well, we, we, were having, we were having one of those moments because we made the video recently talking about whether or not Hogwarts Castle once upon a time was a full blown dragon. Which it was. Which it was uh, that the that the founders encountered. And we were like, oh my gosh, is it smoldering old ruins? <clears throat> like the reason that it's smoldering is because it is like previously like right. a fire breathing Fiery dragon. dragon. Yeah. And it's it was moldering. It's moldering. What does that even mean? What is the, what is to molder? I feel like moldering is the process of like like aging. Yeah, I mean, know, yeah, like, I guess so. Uh, it it means to slowly decay or disintegrate, especially because of neglect. Well, it just sounds like, it just I mean, isn't that what ruins are? This sounds redundant. It sounds like ruined old ruins, you know? Do you have a go-to smolder look, which I'm gonna now recoin as molder look? Oh, oh here, let's we'll show you the molder. Go ahead, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that was pretty good. Yeah, I don't have one, it's like, there's, there's like a thing on TikTok where it's like, <laughs> smile, eyebrows up, don't smile. That's your, that's your smolder. Smile. Smile. Uh, wait, yeah, so let's see, here you go. I'll, I'll go glasses list, ready? I go, yeah, you have to tell me, tell me okay. to do it. Okay. okay, smile, eyebrows up, no smile. No, I feel you, like you your drop eyebrows your eyebrows. so far down, like comically down. Hold it's, on, let me try. Like, uh, no, I, okay, smile, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, you do it. You, you want me to try it? Yeah, you try it. Say okay. the words or to do I, it? I will tell okay, you. Okay. okay, ready? Smile, eyebrows up, no smile. Wow. <laughs> Ethan's he's looking back at me. <laughs> you know who probably has a great smolder is our first quiz master for our first quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. Hello, Law Ninja. Statues depicting what creatures flank the entrance gates to Hogwarts? Oh. 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 
This is a tricky one. It is a tricky one. I literally went through like seven different things. I know. I was like, wait, no, wait. No, no. Oh, oh, but that, there's a that. That was exactly yes. what I did. Yeah. It was like, okay. okay, no, yes. But the, okay, so hopefully okay. I got it right now. Yeah. Ready? One, I'm being very cocky. One, two, three. Winged boars. Winged boars. It is indeed winged boars. Well, if it wasn't, <laughs> what were we both thinking of? I know, that would have been so funny. But I was like, gargoyles? And then, then I was like, pigs? I was like, wait, no. A gargoyle is like, like a, the class of thing, right? Like the winged boar would be a gargoyle. Oh, that's a good I point. I suppose right? so. Like, You're right. That is. You know what? Do you guys remember the movie Gargoyles? Yeah. Where the the premise is that they've all been turned permanently to stone unless someone can rebuild the castle above the clouds and someone moves it to New York City and builds the castle on top of the Empire State Building and then they all come back to life. You literally went through 87 steps of recollection more than I had. So that's what I meant about, do, what, do, do you remember the absolutely redonkulous plot? Of Gargoyles. Do you remember the main character of Gargoyles? Goliath. Yeah, okay. Do you remember Goliath's best friend? Hudson. David. Hudson. (laughs) Hudson. That's like the old guy. Is is Hudson like a a reference to the Hudson River? Yeah, Hudson, Hudson River. Then there's Lexington, Brooklyn, Bronx, I want to say is the dog. And I can't remember the other one. It's it's not like Queens. (laughs) It feels like it would be. It does feel that way. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, so coming up next month, Gargoyles, J versus Ben edition. I will lose. But do you remember the answer to question number four? Who did James Potter hold upside down in the Hogwarts grounds? Uh, well, <laughs> wow, wow. Talk about a, a man without a smolder. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you can describe him is seriously lacking in smolder. Seriously lacking in smolder. Ready? Is One, he? two, three. Snape. Severus Snape. It is indeed Double Severus Dumbledore. Snape. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. We got it. Okay. One, no problem. I'm not sure what that had to do with the Hogwarts grounds, but... They were it's just a thing them. that happened just, outside, Jay. Okay, okay listen. It's a thing that happened in Hogwarts quiz. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. This is just a, a, a quiz, <laughs> It's man. just all of it, basically. Right. Question number five. Hagrid's hut sits on the border of what part of the grounds? Okay. Okay. No doubt. It's taking me forever to write in cursive, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, yeah. two, three. The Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest is correct. My, it almost looks like Forbidden Faust. Yeah. Faust. 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 This is, you know what I love F-O-A-S-T. about the movie? F-O-A-S-T. It's a nice buttered Faust. Faust. It's like, it's like it's, bread, but it isn't. It's <laughs> fake toast. It's Faust. Uh, primarily potatoes. Second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Travis Peacock and Kristen and voted on by patrons. Before the cave-in, how many secret passages depicted on the Marauder's map led out of Hogwarts? Before the cave-in. Before the cave-in. How many secret passages lead out of Hogwarts? Got it. It's bad because I'm not, I'm not entirely confident, and I literally had like a sense of like sweat wash over me that I was about to have to eat something disgusting. A danger a being sense is on its of way. sweat. A, a sense, sense of sweat. Of sweat. I, it was like it's like I didn't a, really sweat, but like you know that feeling before you sweat. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. No, I think that's a thing. Okay. It's like uh, it's like the pre-sweat it's feeling. It's like all your pores not. open, but nothing came out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like my my the, my my body's cooling system, my regulatory system knew like you're fine, but like you're good. my brain sent the signal down to be like, hey, open the gates. No, we're good. Okay, never mind, we're good. So we're you know good. the answer? No, I don't know the answer. Oh, okay. Right, ready? One, two, three, seven. I also said seven. It is seven. Yay! Yes! Booyah! I guessed. I guessed. But thank wow. you, Travis and Kristen, for an excellent question. Seven's always a good Harry Potter number. Guess. That is literally what yeah. I thought too. Speaking of, question seven. Okay. Speaking of go. question seven, that's I, look at that. You guys Whoa. knew what question we were on. Ha, ha. Question number seven. What lake dwelling creature did Fred, George, and Lee Jordan once tickle during a lazy summer afternoon? Well, well, well. Speaking of Faust. Speaking of Faust indeed. <laughs> it probably should be Faust because I'm pretty sure the giant squid can't eat bread. Yeah. It is the giant squid and like, why, how, what, how do you know? What? How do you know it can't eat bread? Yeah, Squids seriously. can't eat bread. Squids can't they eat can't bread. digest it. It would kill it. Oh. Yeah. Well, how about is that, that like a, a true squid this fact? This is just a true squid fact true that I know because about the giant at squid. one point other people are feeding the, the squid toast and people have pointed out like actually squids can't eat toast. Which is why they were feeding it faust. That's why it was actually faust. Yeah, exactly. precisely, precisely. Get our so, squids can't eat faust <laughs> yeah. at the T Public <laughs> store in the Dow section. Squids can't eat faust. 
<laughs> what does your shirt mean? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like, I like these guys on YouTube. And no, they squids went on can eat toast. They can't eat toast. They can't eat toast. Can't they eat can't eat toast. Yeah. That seems like a good band name. Foast. We were Squids Can Eat Foast. Thank you. Foast. For squids. For squids. <laughs> squid safe. Squid <laughs> safe. Squid safe. One hundred percent ink proof. <laughs> Question number eight: Which Ministry of Magic official was killed at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? Oh, I feel good about this. Okay, right? Yeah, we're feeling good about this. Yeah, this splendidly. This is right. right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Barty Crouch Senior. Indeed, Barty Crouch Senior. Yeah. Barty Crouch. Okay. All right. Barty Crouch. There's Big no senior, BCS. but we're just gonna blow right on past that. Yeah. We don't know which one Ben was talking about. But like, if there's only a junior and senior, then like the first one, like, do you become? Do you? Okay, that's a question okay. for you. Yeah. When you add the suffix junior to your child, do you then also legally add the suffix senior to your name? Mm, you, I don't know about legally. Yeah, but I don't know about yeah. legally, but because you, would then, you would then make yourself senior. Yes. You would make yourself a senior, but junior is like an official part of your name, like legally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I, I think know. it's like marked on like your passport and such. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it's like, is that the case though? Like, are you like, no matter what, if you give your, your child your exact name, they, you must include junior? Or you well, just I have don't, the option. To. I don't know that you must. Could include... you make them a junior without making it the same name? That's a good question as well. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but I, I was in fact just traveling with somebody who I booked the ticket and did not include their suffix, which was included on their ID, and it was a problem at the airport. Wow. So I do know that this was recently yeah. a problem. Okay. Your wife, Alice Carlin <laughs> Jr. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Her <laughs> hasn't been a problem in our family, because no one has done this. You know what is a problem, though? Yeah, what? You gotta go do some stuff. Oh. It's about that time, eh, chaps? Burb. It's gotta go legally change his name to Alice Carlin Jr. the second. Yeah. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic route where I have got to ask the question, are we both about to ace this quiz? Because I feel like we are in unprecedented territory, but also we need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Raycon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally feel like we are smack dab in that like space of time where like Halloween is now over, but the holidays haven't quite started, but you also know that everything is just about to be, as I like to call it, straight nutter butters. Now, maybe it's too early early to start decorating for the holidays, or maybe it just flat out isn't. You just do you, but it is never too early to get started on holiday shopping. Now, for me personally, I'm ready to go right now. Like, let's get started. But also there's that like voice in the back of my head that's always like, ah, maybe you should wait until Black Friday to make sure you're getting the best possible deals. But that's where Raycon makes it early. They've got their Black Friday deals available now. You can get up to 50% off. And let me just say, I love my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. I wear these things all of the time. They are super comfortable, deliver high quality audio, and above all else, they have a 32 hour charge time, which is incredible because I forget to charge things just constantly. As long as we're talking about charging though, Raycon also has their five-star reviewed Magic 180 cable that allows you to charge iOS, micro USB, and Type-C devices eight times faster with 100 watt power delivery. And I'll just say, I'm not great at charging devices, but like my wife is absolutely getting one of these this year because I don't think her phone has been fully charged in over a year. Seriously guys, can't recommend them enough. Head on over to buyraycon.com slash JVersB to get 20 to 50% off. Again, that's buyraycon.com slash B. 20 to 50% off, buyraycon.com slash B. Link in the description down below. And welcome back to the table, everyone, where I have to give a huge shout out to today's other sponsor, Factor. There can be no doubt that this time of year is filled with holiday gathering, nice cozy sweaters, and holiday prep. It's just very busy. And for my family of five, making sure that we have healthy, nutritious meals on hand can be nothing short of a tall order. But that is where my wife, Beth, and I are able to take a step back, focus on the fun, and just let Factor take care of the meals. Because if you don't know, Factor are ready to go pre-made, nutritious meals that are ready in just two minutes. Which let me tell you, I literally had one last night. It was the Chipotle rub pork chop. It was super good and super convenient because I got home, the kids are going crazy. We had to get their food ready. And then I was like, oh, what are we gonna eat? And two minutes later, boom, I was enjoying my pork chops and it was good and healthy and 
But if you don't want pork chops, no worries, because every week they have over 35 different options of fresh, never frozen, flavor packed, nutritious meals to choose from. Whatever your meal preferences are, they can meet them. Everything is delivered straight to your door. And did I mention, I think I did, they're ready in just two minutes. Plus, these get me every time. You can also do add-ons. Choose from breakfast items, like their delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, and potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet. Or for an easy wellness boost, you could try a refreshing bed like their cold pressed juices, shakes, or smoothies. You really can't go wrong. So head on over to factormeals.com slash jverseb50 and use promo code jverseb50 to get 50% off your order. One more time, that is promo code jverseb50 at factormeals.com slash jverseb50 to get 50% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Go check it out. And What's we're up? back. Alice Carlin Jr. the second. Hey, good to see you. But it's Alice with an I, just to confuse things. Yeah, Alice with right, an I, yeah. despite the fact that my wife is Alice with a Y. Alice with a Y, but, no, but not what you'd expect. Oh, man, you said the same thing I was going to say. Dang it! <laughs> you know what else you guys probably wouldn't expect? The third Quizmaster question of the game! Nailed it. This question was submitted by Sarah Makiyama and Neil G, probably Neil Gaiman, and voted on by patrons. We met Neil G at GoFest weekend, so shout out. I really thought you were about to tell me you met Neil Gaiman and have just waited until this moment. Well, we, we <laughs> talked about this exact thing when we met Neil G in person. Yeah. Where on the grounds is the white tomb where Albus Dumbledore was laid to rest located? Where on the grounds? Yeah, where on the grounds? Where on the grounds? Huh. That's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. That is a tricky one. I... Um, I would go multiple choice. I would go multiple okay, choice. Yeah. yeah, I'm like... A, on the shores of the Black Lake. B, by the border of the Forbidden Forest. C, next to the castle below the Astronomy Tower. Or D, near the Quidditch Pitch. Okay, I okay. had a guess. I have a guess. Okay, yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna go... They have a guess. I'm okay. going with that. Okay, okay. ready? Un, the trois. A. A. It is indeed A. <laughs> yes! yes! Okay. Because the mer people can see it and the centaurs come out. Do they fire arrows? I think so. Yeah. Okay. What it is not is on a small island in the middle of the lake. Yeah. Like yeah, in the movies. Not, where it might be attacked by a faust hungry squid. <laughs> That's a good point. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Dumbledore laid to rest, wrapped in faust. Wrapped in faust. This should be the this should be the Patreon pin. It's just a this, a squid holding a piece of faust. How are you going to indicate on a pin <laughs> uh, a that it is faust? People, look, if you know, you know, all it's, right? It's a faux faux Fred. It's a faux faux Fred, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's, before it becomes faust. Yeah, it's by a faux faux Fred. Fred. A loaf of Fred, yeah. No, a faux faux Fred. 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 Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> it may be our least intelligible J versus Ben to date. <laughs> the captioner is so upset. You like, know what, though? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what were? Why do they keep saying faust? <laughs> Just so you know, this next one I'm about to say is spelled with a P-H, Faust. Wow, did they get it? Did, did they, they get, get it? it? That's the question. Our new favorite game, playing with the captioners. <laughs> that was favorite with a P-H. <laughs> it's also squid with a P-H, <laughs> but not where you'd expect. <laughs> Let's continue. Question number 10. Where was the Whomping Willow planted? Where? What, like, like, uh... Uh, like is this like a, do we need like a direction or something or I mean this is a great what well, it's not a great question Wizarding World you failed us entirely um, I I know I I feel like what I am describing is a correct assessment of like like location feels like the wrong word but like it is where I have described it does that make sense. I feel like this is, I mean, this is just so, I mean, this is, this doesn't seem specific enough. You guys yeah. can give me an answer and then I'll tell you what the answer we want is and we can decide how to proceed from there. Oh, Deal. Okay. All Deal. Right. Okay, All you right. ready? Yeah. One, two, three. It said on top of a secret passage to the Shrieking Shack. Yes, that's what I that said. That is exactly well. what was asked for. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I was like, I mean, this, this Ooh, feels yeah. like the type of thing, like where I could see the book saying like in the North Lawn, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, like in, a, Right. You're just sort of like, oh, it said the North Lawn one time ever. Right, right. no, like not that. Snape comes and gets Harry and Ron after they crash into the Whomping Willow and he emerged out of the North entrance or something. I mean, something. the other answers yeah. were in the Forbidden Forest, next to Greenhouse 3, 
or over the entrance to a secret passageway to Honeydukes. Okay. So like, okay. you guys would have gotten it immediately. Next to yeah. Greenhouse 3 better not be the answer to any of the questions. Next to, oh yeah. <laughs> Unless yeah. it's what is Greenhouse 2 located next to <laughs> Question number 11. Why was the Whomping Willow planted? Oh. oh. I feel like, I feel like there's probably more that I could expound upon, but I feel like it, I'm I think, covering bases. I'm sure we got, we know the gist. We know the gist. Yeah. I might know the year. I'll give you a brownie point if you can name the year as well. Okay. Oh. Okay. The, okay, for a brownie point. For a brownie point, which may be the deciding factor of this quiz. The year in which the Swamping Swillow. Oh, uh, please, Jay, it's, it's the Swamping Fwillow. The Swamping, the Swamping Fwillow. That's no, where they harvest ended. the Fost from. <laughs> That's where it comes <laughs> That's from. That's how they hire you're the wondering, <laughs> the fruit of the Swamping Fwillow is Fost. Yes. Okay, okay. ready? Wait, no. Oh, the captures Hold officially on. quit at this point. I know. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Now I can't even remember the actual phrasing of the first. Anyway, it's fine. One, two, three. 1969? I said 71. It is 1971. Oh! Yes. Uh, but otherwise, it, it was because Remus Lupin is a werewolf and it's a place for him to yeah, go. That, yeah, okay. yes. That's the real answer. We, I mean, we all knew the answer to that one, let's right, be honest. Yeah. Oh, all one. right, so it's 11.5 to 11. It's time for the fourth Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Ferocious Pop Tart and voted on by patrons. Great name. What statue are Ron and Harry near when they overheard Hagrid saying he is a half giant? What oh. statue are they near? What? I think they were in bushes. I think they are in bushes. Near a statue. As well. Near, near a, a statue. statue of. This is like a thing that was set up for the Yule Ball, by the way, not like. The statue yeah. of Gregory the Barmy. Right, yeah. Okay, okay. We can do multiple voice if you guys want. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would do multiple voice if you'd be interested, but. We can do it, we can do okay. it. This is, okay. But just know okay. that this was my guess. Okay, okay. So it's F through PH. A is a granite phoenix. B is a stone reindeer. C is a golden wizard. D is a silver witch. I did not help, and I was wrong. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. B? I said B. It is B, a stone oh, reindeer. It sure is, because of Ooh. Christmas. Ooh, man, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm glad we is did that. Is it the that. chapter art? For some reason, it? I feel like I can picture I, a reindeer. You might but, be right. Um, Man. What, I was, all I could think when the, about reindeer was also something that, like, there is, there is, like, they noticed a beetle on the reindeer or something, on the oh. antlers or something, because it's Rita Skeeter. It's Skeeter Reader. Skeeter Reader. Yeah. yeah. But of course you know that, don't you? Oh man, yeah, I wouldn't have had that with twenty guesses. No, nope. I was like thinking it was voice. like cherubs or something. That's what cherubs. I, yeah, I, I thought the like, same thing. I thought it was something romantic looking because Hagrid and Madame Maxime are like, or Hagrid's trying to be romantic in the moment. Well, we we got past that one by the skin of our it. teeth. We did it. Question number thirteen. Okay. During the second task of the Triwizard Tournament, mm -hmm. what did Harry not see in the lake? Is it A, mer people, B, moaning myrtle, C, kappas, or D, zagrindelos? Zagrindelos. Zagrindelos. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um. Yeah, it's that one. It turns out Fleur's not even just you know bad at Troy Wizard tournament stuff. She's just crazy. Yeah. There's not even grindelos. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're not even there. Not even see. there. Grindelos, not even real. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. One, two, three. C. Kappas. C. Kappas is Boom. correct. Boom. Bam. Crushing Boom. It. Bam. Indeed. I love that Moaning Myrtle's just down there. She's like, yeah, I got flushed. <laughs> I got like, flushed. I'm down here. <laughs> like, who flushed you? Everyone's here. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, there's like that, that like one first year. It's like, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. It's Barty Crouch Jr. as Mad Eye Moody yeah, just causing like, havoc. 50 points and it goes through her head. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's like, get down there and help Potter. Oh, yeah, actually, if anything, yeah. that sounds that more right. That does sound yeah. more right. Yeah. New theory alert. Yeah. yeah. Question number 14. After an altercation with Malfoy on the Quidditch pitch, 
What did Ron end up belching? Oh. Ah. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon. <laughs> this word. Yeah. <laughs> You're writing way more than feels necessary. Okay. Easy peasy lemon <laughs> faust. Got it. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Chris. <laughs> flugs. Flugs. <laughs> it is flugs. <laughs> <laughs> the other known favorite snack of the, the giant squid. <laughs> the giant squid. <laughs> that one actually seems reasonable. <laughs> it does. It does seem like squids could eat slugs. Yeah. Now I'm just imagining the, the giant squid just like crawling up onto the beach and be like, hmm. Slug snack. Don't mind if I do. Better out than in. Now I'm actually sweating though because we are in the the proximity. Not only of, <coughs> of like pure competition, but only one of us has ever gotten a perfect score before. Yeah. Which was fairly recently. Yeah. We are both currently fourteen point five for fourteen. Yeah. No, <laughs> you're fourteen point five for fourteen. Not fourteen point five. Fourteen point brownie. Okay. Fourteen, 14 point, brownie. point brownie to fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. You can win by one brownie. <laughs> by one whole brownie. Which or, count. Ben, you can lose <laughs> by, by half a brownie. By half a brownie. It is the 15th uh, question. The 15th? Fifth, the fifth, 15th question. I, I heard it. And the fifth Whizmaster question of the fame. <laughs> this question was submitted by Pokemonster and Geekbox oh. and voted on by patrons. What student nearly lost an eye while trying to get near the Whomping Willow? What student nearly lost an eye? Nearly? How do you nearly lose an eye? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really like, way too like biologically accurate eyeball suction noise. Eyeball suction Captioner, noise. can you please put biologically active <laughs> accurate <laughs> eyeball suction noise? Trying to get near the Whomping Willow? Yeah. Is this canon? It is a Remus Lupin quote that this comes from. Oh, man. People used to play a game trying to get near enough to touch the trunk. In the end, blank nearly lost an eye and we were forbidden to go near it. Wow. So this could be this could be some like one-off mentioned student from their year. This I mean his, this person's entire Harry Potter Wikipedia page is this thing. Is this incident. Oh. So it's not this. Okay, so all right, we need multiple choices. You want choice the multiple voice. Okay. I'll go, no I'll go for multiple voice. Chance. Good on you, Pokemonster and Geekbox, for this particular question, because, the, I mean, you did, you went deep into the old archives. I wonder if Kat knew that this is how, where we would land ourselves. A is Daedalus Diggle, B is Davy Gudgeon, C is Bertha Jorkins, and D is Violet Evergarden. I have an answer. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna answer too. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Wasn't gonna guess it. No. Nope. Who could possibly figure that out? That's completely mental. Nope. Not in a million you years. Never pulled it out of thin air. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. B. I said D. It is B. Yes. Davy oh! Gudgeon. David Gudgeon just sounds like he fits into that story. Like also Davy Gudgeon. It's not like um, Violet Evergarden. You're a little too close. That it's, is a final score of J15, Ben, 14 oh, Brownie. Oh, they got 100%. Oh my gosh. I thought for sure that that was like honest gudgeon. I know, I did. I was like, uh, cause, cause only because I would have just said it, except that you said the only thing on the Wikipedia page was that they almost lost an eye. And if their last name is Gudgeon, it seems like the Wikipedia page should also it include says, is possibly related to Gladys Gudgeon I mean, it, of Gilderoy Lockhart It does say possibly fame. related to Gladys Gudgeon. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But I couldn't tell you that because yeah, that would- Because that would, yes. That would yes. give it away. Oh. Mm. I can't. Gladys. I can't believe in a, it. In a weird way, Ben, it was the Janice Thickey Ward that did you in. I'm so sad. <laughs> So close, man. You got the year right on the, the Whomping Willow and everything. I know, but we, we've never, I mean, we were so I know, close we were, I'm, and I had a reason. We, I was like, Deedalus Diggle, no problem. Bertha yeah, Jorkins, she was not, an idiot. <laughs> not the Bertha I knew. <laughs> yeah. Um, but freaking, oh man. I, I can't believe Woo. it. I had Snape down ahead of time. That's what I had down okay, too. Okay, yeah, I yeah. was like, 
Snape's the only one who might have been trying to like nose around. I know. Well, and and you know, there's the whole like Dumbledore has that whole thing like Snape never forgave him for saving his life, and yeah. it's like like that's all just that had nothing to do with it, that, bro. Yeah, it's like that's like su such a dumb inclusion. Yeah. Well, or dumb inclusion or just never pay off type thing. Oh, I am so. Does that mean that Dumbledore fed Davy Gudgeon to the Whopping Willow? To give that people a reason to stay away from it, since he's the one that planted it to cover up for Remus Lupin. I don't think so. I think think people were just like, "Hey, cool tree. Hey, 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 cool tree. Is it dangerous? Oh wow. Maybe I'll is. try and feed the squid with some. I've never been attacked by a tree before. Yeah. <laughs> See how close I can get. Ah! And now we need to give a huge thank you to our quiz masters over on Patreon. Huge shout out to Law Ninja, Travis Peacock, Kristen, Sarah Makiyama, Neil G, probably Gaiman, Ferocious Pop-Tart, Pokemonster, and Geekbox. If you would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash Brothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. Thanks again to all of our quiz masters over on Patreon. Well, team, I'm sorry. I mean, in general, I feel like I would never feel that bad about a 14-point brownie finish, but yeah. when it was that close to both of us going perfect scores, it was really close. And you somehow pulled it out yep. when the obvious, when it wasn't Diggle, when it wasn't Bertha. This was a classic coin flip gone wrong. <sighs> Maybe next time. You're gonna have Actually, to get a different coin. Make sure you do tune in next time because on the next J vs. Ben, it will be Thanksgiving, which means as a we are bringing it back. We are going to have our annual Goblet of Fire quiz complete with just the hottest of sauces and wings. Yes, we, we literally sampled them in office uh, as yesterday where they positively, I mean, like dabs of them just scorched, scorched. us. So I, I am like literally already fearful of what will happen when we are eating whole wings of this capacity for yeah. for mouth burn but mm -hmm. it'll be on it will be fun tune in subscribe until next time bye, bye.